What's going on guys and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto, I of course am JB and today we are going to help you. Are you tired of trying to navigate the complicated cryptocurrency platforms? Do you want a smoother, more user friendly experience? Well, get ready to meet your new financial BFF, Blofin. In today's video we are going to dive headfirst into the innovative platform showing you how to navigate it like a pro. From signing up to trading, we're going to have you covered on all aspects. Sit back, relax guys, and let's dive in to today's video. So of course, first of all, what we want to do is come over to Blowfin.com. Now before you do, linked in the video description down below is our affiliate link to the Blowfin Exchange. Take advantage of our affiliate link exclusive perks and bonuses for using the Cheeky Crypto Blowfin affiliate link. But today we're going to go through the whole process and first of all we need to create an all new account for Blowfin. And of course first of all what we want to do is put in that email address and sign up to Blowfin's exchange. Entering our password for our exchange of course the referral option here clicking our affiliate link in the description down below this will not be presented as it will already have claimed the affiliate link from Cheeky Crypto. But as always guys do your own due diligence reading the terms of service the policy agreement and the risk disclosure statement reading through those making sure you're up to date and in tune with what you're signing up for here but today we are going to go ahead tick that button and sign up with Blowfin. Where of course we will then be presented with that two-factor authentication code sent to the email address that we attached here. You obviously want to enter that in confirming the 2FA. And there we have it as simple as that, creating an account with Blowfin. This exchange is one of my favourite as it does not have KYC. Now that there may be hyper important for anyone watching this video. No KYC on the Blowfin exchange. Now at this point it is crucial to understand the levels of security that you want to have attached to, to this platform. Now before I deposit anything onto any exchange I make sure my security is top notch. For this come over into the top right hand corner into your own menu here and selecting the account and securities tab. Now this of course will bring you over to everything and I do advise you guys go through this step by step and set them up from the pass keys to the password, the email which you've already verified your phone number should you wish attached to your phone number to this, the Google authentication code, this is my preferred option, I always have Google two-factor authentication assigned to all of my platforms that I do use and of course enabling that anti-phishing code. Go through this process, set these up step by step guys to make sure your security is top notch. Now we've set up the security levels, we also want to attach any form of identification that we may wish to attach to this account. Simply put back into that menu, selecting the identification tab here. Now as you can already see, we are basic verified here with 24 hour withdrawal limits of up to 20,000 USDT and no limit on leverage positions. Now adding some certain information here will of course up your limits depending on how much you wish to deposit and withdraw from the exchange. Verifying personal information enables up to 1 million USDT withdrawals within a 24 hour period. Again, no limit on maximum uh, leverage on futures and no limit on futures trading. And adding the additional proof verification, 2 million USDT withdrawals within a 24 hour period. And again, no limit on futures trading or maximum leverage on positions. Again, assign which ones of these you wish to have attached to your account depending on what you want to remove. For me in this instance, I will leave it on basic, but my own personal account, I do have the personal information verification and the address proof verification enabled. The process of enabling these is of course very simple. The personal information verification, you would simply select whether or not you are a US resident. Myself, I am not, I would continue with this. And at this point, you do start to enable KYC. So up to 20,000 USDT you can withdraw without KYC. Anything higher than that, of course, you will start to need KYC attached to this account. For this instance, if you wanted to do the first level, it would be your passport or your residence permit, perhaps your driving license or your ID card. For me, I would attach a passport. And this, the process here is, of course, very simple. Uploading a document. That is a picture of your passport front and you can also do this on your mobile. It doesn't have to be on the desktop. Again, guys, do which suits your needs best here when signing up with Blowfin. So now that we have all of the formals out of the way, we have a nice, secure, fully backed up Blowfin account, we can start to explore this fantastic platform. 
Across the top of the screen, we of course have our drop down menu. Whether you wish to buy crypto, have a look at the markets, looking at the spot markets, the future markets, copy trading, the earnings side of Bluefin, and the more tab with everything you will need to know. Explore it, understand everything that this platform does have to offer. We're going to have a quick through, look through everything in today's video. First of all, we'll click on the buy crypto tab. And what this allows us to do is deposit directly onto the exchange. Now for this instance, let's say we want to deposit 1,000 US dollars or changing it to your currency, whichever it may be for myself, it would of course be Great British Pounds. In this instance, I would receive 1,242 USDT, but of course you can tailor this to your needs. You can drop that down to Ethereum, Bitcoin, whichever you wish to have this deposit transaction carried out in. For this instance, of course, we're going to deposit 1,000 Great British Pounds and receive 1,242 USDT. Now moving on, we of course want to talk about the gateway. How do we want to get the money there? Do we want to deposit this with our Visa card, our MasterCard, paying it through Skrill, FPS or Apple Pay, selecting the option which suits your needs best here, guys. For me, in this instance, it would be the Visa option. Clicking the Buy Now button, this will tell us that we would be waiting approximately one to five minutes to receive 1,242 USDT from that deposit. And of course, you have to understand that Alchemy is the third party service provider that Blofin do use, understanding that this is in the use of service. Advancing forward, of course, you would then have to enable or select which process it was you wanted to do your payment with. My instance, it was Visa. So clicking the card to approve the transaction. And of course, entering in those all elusive details. Full transparency, those are not my bank account details for anybody looking to access my account. It's just a visual demonstration. Entering in the card details, confirming that pay, the wait of around about one to five minutes, you will have then deposited fiat onto the exchange and receive either USDT, Ethereum or Bitcoin, whichever option you decided to go with. So now we have deposited onto the exchange, we now want to know what can we buy on Blowfin. What we will do now is head on over into that markets tab and the drop down that comes here is quite staggering. The vast amount of cryptocurrencies that are available on this platform is quite mind blowing. So when we do come into the spot tab here on the markets section, we can see what cryptocurrencies are available to buy with our USDT that we have freshly deposited. We can see Bitcoin currently sitting at $58,381 paired up with USDT. An interesting note, guys, let me know what price Bitcoin is at the time that you're watching this video in the comment section down below. But we can also see that Ethereum, BNB, XRP, Solana, ADA, all your favorite cryptocurrencies are available on this exchange. Have a good look through this list, guys. The list is massive on Blowfin, but it doesn't stop there. Selecting this hot tab, you can start to see what projects are hot in the space right now. Ones that are widely searched on the likes of YouTube and Google, Blowfin categorizing these in terms of search volume. One of my favorite there, Chainlink. Then we can, of course, move up to the trending tab here. What's trending right now? And again, this gives us an idea what volumes are coming in and out of projects on the Blowfin exchange. Currently, we can see in the last 24 hours, $13.46 million coming into Bitcoin on Blowfin specifically, 10 million into Ethereum, 3 million into XRP. This here is a useful tool if you want to know which projects are hot, which have fantastic volumes on this platform, on the spot side of things. Having a look through this list before you do buy, you will get a better understanding of which projects have got good trading volume at the current time. Now, perhaps you're looking to leverage trade on Blowfin, and that there is also a fantastic option. You can see a massive list of projects there for leverage trading, and you can break these down through sectors. If you're a DGEN and you're having a look at meme coins, perhaps that you're looking to invest or leverage trade into Dog with Hat, perhaps it's Shiba Inu, or perhaps you're looking to dive into the world of Dogecoin, all listed here on the leverage side on Blowfin. And if you're interested in learning more, about Dogecoin, the video that will be coming across the top of the screen here, will give you a deep dive into Dogecoin, what it is and why it may be on your list. So now we know how to navigate the market, how to find the projects, the volumes coming into the project on the specific exchange, we will now take a look at how we physically buy those projects. For that, of course, we will come over here into the spot tab. 
So when we do come into the spot tab here, one thing that is often asked, how do we change this into dark mode? And it's very simple here on the Bluefin Exchange. The little moon symbol up here, clicking that, will transform this into the better on the eyes appearance, in my opinion, which is of course dark mode. But this exchange has a lot to offer, especially when looking to buy the spot pairings. Now for this instance, we will take a look at Solana paired up with USDT. This is the spot chart. And what we can see is an easy to navigate platform. We can have a look first of all here at the trading view chart. Should you wish to do some charting for the USDT pairing of Solana here before you look for an investment, perhaps you're looking to snipe an entry, we can start to tailor up some points where we may look for an entry point on Solana for that spot purchase. A fantastic addition here is that trading view platform integrated into the Bluefin exchange. Moving forward, we may want to look at the order book. This is where people are looking to buy and sell their positions of Solana. Of course, more sell positions typically tells us the market is coming down. More buy positions here typically tells us we're expecting the market to move to the upside. Just a very simple move in the market we can see just through that order book. But perhaps we're looking to snipe an entry and we're looking to pick up somebody's sell order for the quantity of Solana that we're looking to purchase. So, what we're going to have a look at here is how to buy Solana on Blowfin. There are of course two simple ways of doing this. First of all, we'll take a look at limit. If we wish to pick up Solana, we can currently see trading at $142.53. We're going to have a look at that order book and perhaps see some interesting sell areas. And there may be an interesting buy there. Let's just say we see an, a sell area around about $140. That's the area we're looking to enter into Solana with that $1,000 that we did deposit onto the exchange. We could see at that point we would pick up 7.14 Solana tokens. And yes, we can see a vast amount of Solana being sold a little bit higher. But over time, we would see the price come down, gravitate towards our buying order if the markets are in the right condition and fill that 7.142 Solana requirement. But there is also another easier, perhaps simpler way of buying that Solana and that's clicking this market tab. What we can see once again here is the price of Solana sitting at $142. Should we look to purchase on the market position, which Whatever the market is currently sitting at, it will fill the order that you place here. So let's just say we're looking to pick up that seven Solana. The price will automatically gravitate towards the nearest entry point to fill our order. In simple terms, we're looking to buy seven Solana. The price will gravitate towards these sell orders to fill out the order that we have got placed here. It's very simple, but the chances are you won't get the most optimal price placing it at market. Placing a limit, you will have a set price that you're looking to buy. If you place it via market, the market will gravitate towards the nearest point that will fill your order. So understanding how the market and limit does work when looking to place an order on Blowfin is crucial. And of course, this applies when looking to sell. Let's just say we're looking to sell that Solana that we just picked up. We've picked up seven Solana and we're looking to sell this at approximately $150. We could see at that point we would be in $50 gain from the area that we did pick it up. This here again, we are placing a limit sell order. We're looking for the price to eventually gravitate towards the $150 level for the Solana pairing. At this point, we would then have our order filled. But again, there's also the more simpler solution here, and that's that market price. We could sell Solana at the current market price. Now what we can see is $142.59. When we're looking to sell on the market, the price will gravitate towards the closest buy order that is currently listed there. So once again, you may not get the optimal opportunity for selling. The optimal price of Solana will not be there when selling or purchasing on the market position. So understanding the vast difference between market and limit orders. And of course, if you have just purchased your Solana and you are looking to add it to your MetaMask, in the top right hand corner of the screen just now, guys, is a quick video on how to add Solana to your MetaMask. Pause this video, head on over there, check it out, come back here, and we'll carry on with the Blowfin video. So we've covered off how to buy it on spot. You're looking to hodl that one for the long time, but perhaps you're looking for a quick trade. You're looking to do some derivative trading on this Blowfin platform. For this, of course, we will come over here into the Futures tab and the drop down menu clicking futures once again. And for this instance, guys, we're going to have a look how to place a leverage trade on Polkadot. Now, when we do come into the futures position here, we can see that the screen is largely the same as the spot screen. We do have our trading view pair where we can jump between the one hour time frame, the four hour time frame, 
moving up perhaps to the one day time frame or you can go right the way down here you're looking for those quick scalps and you can drop it down onto the minute time frames a fantastic variety here that you can jump through for those quick levers positions so of course we are looking to place a trade and much like with the spot chart we can see where buyers and sellers are currently sitting and we can perhaps get a bit of an understanding whether there's a lot of people looking to sell off their positions in polkadot or looking to buy into positions in polkadot so you can navigate this order book to your needs to perhaps get a better entry on your trade. Now before we go any further, if you do want to understand more about Polkadot, what Polkadot is and why we need Polkadot, linked in the top right hand corner of the screen once again is a full descriptive video on Polkadot put together by Nick. It is a fantastic video and I do urge you guys to go and watch that after today's video. So what we do have to understand next is how we place a trade. Now there's two different types we can place here, a cross trade or an isolated trade. My personal preference is always an isolated trade. It protects the account. Having an isolated trade, the risk that is associated to this is that if a trade is liquidated, it will only liquidate that one trade. However, if a cross trade is liquidated, it will liquidate the entire leverage account that you have here. Once again, understand the difference between cross and isolated leverage positions yes you have greater stop losses and greater liquidation prices on cross but the risk is far greater you risk your entire account here if you do trade using cross my personal take is far safer using a isolated position and again what you then have to understand is the amount of x's you want to put into that position for me, I tend not to go much higher than 10x. Perhaps if a trade is in heavy profits, I will then add to the position, perhaps adding more leverage to it. But starting off a trade, I always start a trade off nice and low, whether it's 2, 3 or 5x. What this means on a 5x trade for every dollar you're risking, you're also risking $5 from the exchange. Very simple formula when you're leveraged trading. My personal take when I open a trade between 2 and 5x using isolated, that of course is not financial advice. Do not take it as financial advice, guys. Always do your own research. But at this point, we are looking for an isolated 5x trade here on Polkadot. Now, once again, much like that spot side of things, we have a market and we have a limit position we can place here. So we can jump straight into the market here and let's just say we're looking to pick up 5 Polkadot. And at this point, I would be also looking to have a take profit and a stop loss. Let's just say, for instance, we're looking for a $10 take profit and a $3.50 stop loss on that trade. We're looking to go long here. So we would click that buy long position and we're then displayed with the description of our trade. It would be a market trade, five polka dot, targeting the move up towards $10 with our stop loss nice and tight there at $3.50. My preferred take on this though is of course always trying to find the optimal entry. At this point we can see the current price of $4.43. We're going to target $4.40 to pick up that five polka dot for the trade once again. We can see the cost here would be 4.4 USDT and again the stop loss take profit would always be in this trade. Let's just say we're optimistically looking for a $10 polka dot and our stop loss down here at $3.50. We would of course then look to action that long buying it. We can see the full breakdown so we can then document it for our own needs here. And the same of course applies when we're looking to short the market. Let's just say we're looking to short the market at the $4.43 it currently is. We're looking to short this 5 polka dot position again we would then have our take profit perhaps at that three dollar fifty level with a stop loss nice and tight at around about the five dollar level we would then see our position would be 4.4 usdt selling that short we would then be displayed with the full breakdown of our trade if you are looking to learn more about trading guys join us down in our discord linked in the description down below we've got a whole host of educational content all about trading all about understanding charts price movements and so forth and also a fantastic community talking crypto talking trades 24 7 join us down in our discord guys it is completely free to join so now we've had a look at the markets how to buy and sell crypto how to place leverage positions we want to then dive into the wallets here simply going over into the assets tab we will have a look at this overview where you can then see we have our breakdown of wallets from the funding account the spot account futures the copy trading and the earn account first of all what we will take a look at here is how to deposit further onto this exchange clicking the deposit button here we can then explore the options for depositing onto Blowfin. We can see a variety. You can deposit your USDT, your XRP, Bitcoin, Tron, BNB. The list is, of course, endless here. 
So we will select some USDT that we want to deposit onto Blowfin. We of course then want to select the correct network. Now this is crucial in understanding this process. If you're sending it perhaps from MetaMask to Blowfin, the network must be the same across both. So if you're sending USDT from your Ethereum ERC20 wallet in MetaMask, when you deposit onto this exchange, the USDT must be selected and the exact same network must be selected here. The ERC Ethereum must be selected. Then of course we would see we are displayed with the address. You would copy this address over into MetaMask and confirm the transaction. So next we want to have a look at how to withdraw. How do we withdraw from Blowfin? Simply put, over here in the overview wallet, we want to click on that withdraw tab, where we will of course be displayed with the same format as buying. We would of course select the crypto that we wish to withdraw. Let's say for instance, we are looking to withdraw our USDT on this exchange. We would then of course go over to let's say the MetaMask that we're looking to withdraw it towards and copy that address over. Once again, pasting it into here and understanding once again that this is crucial, sending it from Blowfin to MetaMask on the correct network. Should you have selected USDT on the ERC Ethereum chain on MetaMask, you must select Ethereum's ERC20 chain here on Blowfin. Then of course from there we would like to select the amount of USDT that we would like to withdraw from Blowfin perhaps to our MetaMask account, entering it into there and confirming that withdrawal. But once again, I do want to highlight the importance that your withdrawal address is 100% accurate to where you're sending it to and the network is 100% accurate to the network you're looking to receive it on. Perhaps it's on another exchange, perhaps it's on MetaMask. Make sure that these are 100% accurate. And if you are looking for a full breakdown on MetaMask, Linked once again in the top corner of the page is Chris's fantastic breakdown of MetaMask that I do urge you guys to head on over and check out after today's video. Now, one last thing we will touch on within this wallet is transferring. So we have deposited onto Blowfin. This, of course, will then be received into our funding account. At this point, we want to decide whether we want to use that USDT to spot buy or leverage trade. We then want to transfer it here. Selecting the transfer tab, that USDT that we did just send over, we want to move from the funding account. At this point, we want to decide whether it's going into our futures leverage trading account or into our spot account for this instance. Let's just grab that spot account. And for instance, we just moved over 1000 USDT. You would enter it into there and confirm that transaction. And at this point, this would then be moved from your funding account over here into your spot account where you can then dive into the market, pick up your favorite crypto projects to hodl. So there you have it guys, a full breakdown of this fantastic KYC free platform that is Blowfin. I do encourage you guys to use our affiliate link that is linked in the description down below. Signing up to Blowfin, a fantastic platform with no KYC. I do hope you have found today's video informative and useful. If you did, please smash that like button, subscribe and tap on the bell selecting all of the notifications so that you never miss a video coming out to you from Cheeky Crypto. We have, of course, put out a fantastic gallery of educational content that we have linked throughout this video. All of these videos are, of course, over in the menus in our YouTube channel, guys. I encourage you to head on and check each and every one of those out. And as always, guys, if you are going to trade, please do trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss. Make some great gains. Stay safe in the space. And I will catch you all in the next one.